everyone, so we've just landed back in Cardiff Airport um, from our two week holiday in Lanzarote. Um, overall, it wasn't the best place. Um, we had some good days there, it was a beautiful resort, but overall it's a no for us. Um, service was distinctly lacking, Whoa. cleanliness was lacking. Um, and the some of the clientele there were wanting to have uh, basically it's like a drunken lads holiday with fighting and arguing and foul language in a family resort which we didn't find appropriate um, interestingly um, I seem to have multiple stalkers trolling me on Facebook who've also started now trolling my YouTube videos uh, laughing at them and uh, being aggressive towards me and my family because we dare say anything negative about the hotel when they've been visiting 13 years or I've been here 50 times to this hotel well that's fine if you like that but um, I guess everyone likes different things and we did not like it I think at the start of a holiday we tried to get along and thought niggles happen everywhere and we accept that and uh, we never normally have problems anywhere we stay but uh, unfortunately the niggles continued and became bigger problems and um, as you'll see in this uh, video I've compiled and last night was the the key moment of us realizing that we would never ever return to that hotel with the behavior of uh, with some of the guests but you'll see that in the, the video most of its photos um, I've tried to do good and bad so I tried to be balanced and fair as far as I could but honestly we feel negative about it so uh, I guess the video will probably sway on the negative side I'm more than happy for any comments or questions about it, but please no trolling questions because I will ignore them. Um, I've had enough aggression and bullying uh, projected from Facebook uh, with regards to my honest opinion and I don't think anybody should have to undergo that kind of um, abuse when they are given an honest opinion and my opinion will be different to other people's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone, we are currently going on a, a golf cart. We have the rest of the time. <laughs> oh, good grief! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to drop my phone. <laughs> I bet we should stop the camera. <laughs> I'll do a little. It's a really nice. So we just checked in, it was all very smooth, very yeah. nice, we had it's a bit of really cover. It's quite grand. I was really, really pleasantly surprised going into the, the uh, main reception area. Um, it's quite grand, it's beautifully done and it's immaculate and the staff were lovely. Um, we were the first to check in alone, came in behind us, so we've done, luckily we downloaded the app already. So I was straight on that with our room numbers. Um, we are rooms 1104 and 1105, which uh, they're not sea view ones, but we're down by the heated pool, which will be nice. Oh, we're going to go downhill. We're going to go downhill. <laughs> <laughs> We'll do a bit more filming when we get in the room yeah. and uh, we we see what it's room. like in the boxes. Just arrived at the room. We've got ooh, a really big shower. Nice posh sink, toilet bidet, and a weighing scales. Not sure why you want a weighing scales on holiday, but. There we are. Oh, look, it's an adjoining room. Is it? Oh, nice. Oh, it's, it's not working though. <laughs> we won't do that. We've got tea and coffee making stuff. 
And if I come in, ah, oh, we've got beds. And then we've got a TV. We've got a sofa bed. Let's have a look out here. Garden view. Oh, actually, we've got a sea view. Very nice. The cocktails in the bar I actually found really nice, really pleasant. It's just the service was very slow in the main bar. Here's a view of the main pool. And a view out over the sea. More cocktails. My daughter's favourite mocktails. And my son. I think their favourite was the San Francisco. And then the kids' pool, they absolutely loved it. There were lovely things like the crazy golf, there was balls, um, there was a volleyball uh, sort of court with nets around the back as well of the hotel. Yet more mocktails. You can see what uh, the kids like to spend their time doing. The bar was very nice though. And this was the outside area of the main buffet, which was quite pleasant to sit out. Uh, because it was quieter outside. Then there's myself and hubby up in the bar at lunchtime. The Italian restaurant we went to twice. These pictures were from our first visit. The food was reasonable. The service was slow. The second time we went there, it was so bad we cancelled our subsequent visit. Um, they were so ridiculously slow. Three starters arrived and it took about half an hour for the others to arrive. This is Daisy. My son loved Daisy. Now this view is down at Playa Blanca in the village. It was lovely down there. We spent some time walking uh, around the marina. We went for a drink in the cafe. We wandered through the shops. Uh, we didn't make it as far as the beach at Playa Ban Blanca, but we did walk down, so we did walk... Uh, to Flamingo Beach. This is at the kids' pool again. And then one evening, there was such a beautiful uh, sky. I couldn't help take a picture. This is Sakura, the Oriental restaurant, our absolute favourite. The food and the service was phenomenal in there. Um, I, w I wish we could have gone there more, uh, but unfortunately, we were unable to book any subsequent visits. Uh, but I would have happily eaten there every single night if we could have. Um, it, it was just brilliant. I've got no queries over that. And this is lovely. On our way back one evening, the maid saw the kids and gave them some chocolates. This was the quiet pool. And it was very nice at the quiet pool. You could always get sunbed there. It was a really nice atmosphere. Um, it was pleasant. The view was lovely. And you're right next to the bistro. The bistro is very handy for lunch. Some more shots from the kids' pool with the water squirters. And then some views. So there were some beautiful views. And these were sort of early morning. I used to go for a walk. Uh, this is Plaza Maya. I don't know if I've spelt that correctly. And then back for more cocktails up in the bar in the evening. And the kids enjoying a bit of uh, time with Daisy. And then this was one morning I woke up and the moon was up and it was shimmering off the water. Some shots of the kids again. I think that was in Plaza Canaria one evening. And then ice cream at the bistro <laughs> look at the size of the ice cream they gave the kids the girls there were so lovely they were really really lovely we did love the bistro and then it's a clip of my dad with his uh, baguette panini he was gluten-free he's celiac and they always did a gluten-free one for him oh yeah sorry here comes the bad stuff yeah the cleaning was awful the pool areas, my feet were black. The toilets were awful. This is the food at the uh, the Grimm Steakhouse. Oh, 
was a chicken burger. It was awful. I couldn't eat it. Now this next one, this is my son's burger. It was a thin, cheap burger and it's not even cooked properly. It was awful. And then the steaks, well, these were a joke. These were supposed to be well done. And look at that. The service was very slow there. And then this next video, well, this was just to try and illustrate one day um, at lunchtime, before we discovered the bistro, queuing for the main buffet. You can see how big the queue is. It goes all the way out, actually, uh, into the plaza. But they were, often they're late open the doors. They never open on time. But there are queues like this because you struggle to get a table otherwise. It's chaos and then people pour in and everyone's trying to grab food. But the thing is, at this point, we had to do this because there were six of us. We could not get a table for six otherwise. It was, um, it was really awful because I do not like queuing like this and all piling in. It really, really is not my idea of fun or of a holiday. Uh, but luckily we found a way around that. By then, lunchtime, we always, always went to the bistro and it was pleasant, it was table service, it was clean and the food there was really nice. Yeah, the buffet was awful and you'd be lucky to get drinks. <laughs> My next comment. Uh, it's almost as if I knew. Yeah, so the second buffet did open during our second week, which was better. Now, you'll see things like this all around the site. Skips, broken drains with no barriers around them, just ready for people to fall in. I mean, I've never gone around taking pictures of things like this before, but I just felt like I couldn't help it. This was a broken door on this electric cupboard with all the wires, all the work area with the fencing falling down around it, more skips and just general work areas. And then the tiles, well, they were broken everywhere. To be honest, that in itself wouldn't have been such an issue, but they just were never fixed. Um, I think the two weeks we were there, they might have fixed five tiles, but most of these broken tiles I've pictured and the sticky up bits and the sharp bits were there for the whole of the two weeks. And this bit here cordoned off. That was there for the whole of the two weeks and no work was done. But the new tiles are there waiting. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, someone could really hurt themselves on these. Um, now, this next photo is my black feet from just being around the pool area. And then cigarette ends. This was out the back of our sort of balcony. The neighbours were delightful and would throw their cigarette ends down um, on from their balcony above and from the side. You'd find cigarettes. There were tabs and roll-ups everywhere. This rubbish was dumped and wasn't picked up for days, as was this. There's a fencing area here that's around the back of where our room was um, that was broken. And clearly people have been climbing over it, which is quite a security issue. Right, so it's the last night of our holiday. Sadly, it's not been great. It's uh, been an absolute debacle and fast today. Look how tired I look as a result of all this. So this morning we all went for breakfast as normal in the little buffet. And then um, Emma's pulling faces at me. And uh, the floor was soaking wet when everyone went in and several people fell over as a result of that. And they didn't do anything. No yellow signs or anything to tell you the floor was slippy. My son was one of the people that fell over and he hurt his arm. No one cared. No one checked to see if anyone was all right. It's been an absolute debacle. And then we sort of had a normal... Here's what I found. My watch is kicking off now. We had a normal sort of day by the kids' pool, which is hectic there and busy, um, not relaxing. But it was last day, wanting the kids to enjoy themselves. We went up to the bistro for lunch, which is our favourite place to go. It's usually, it's really nice up there. And the food's good and it's table service and it's clean. So we like it. Um, but unfortunately, today, I ended up with 
initially what I thought was a piece of glass in my food, but it was actually a chunky, sharp bit of plastic. So um, I found out because it nearly broke my tooth. I was chewing on my uh, baguette and all of a sudden I thought, oh, that's really hard, but there's nothing in my baguette that should have been hard. I thought, what's that? So I had to fish it out of my mouth and it was this really thick, hard and sharp bit of plastic. So luckily I didn't swallow it because that could have been really, really dangerous. Um, and they just, I showed them and they went, oh, oh and went off and that was that. Um, so I wasn't very happy. And tonight, originally we were booked in the Italian restaurant because we thought we'd go there on our last night and have something safe to eat like pizza um but we were actually in the italian last night because we couldn't book all week because it's been so chaotic here we had to book two in the last two nights and it was so rubbish last night and the service was so slow and so poor that um we decided to cancel it i thought we can't be bothered with that on our last night we want to get back early because we we're up early in the morning to go for our flight so we thought, oh, we'll cancel it and we'll just go to the buffet because they've got the big buffet that is like a zoo. Um, and then you've got a smaller buffet that opened this week, um, which is much nicer and it's quieter. Not as much food there, but that's fine because it's more pleasant. Um, so we thought we'll go to the small buffet at half past seven. So the big one opens at seven, little one opens at half seven. I thought that'll be great. Got there, it's not open. So that's was a dampener which meant that the zoo like cattle market buffet had already been open for half an hour and there are six of us to sit on a table nobody seats you in this buffet you uh, commandeer a table yourself and we went in and it was rammed i've never seen so many people it was insane the noise level and the number of people was just awful it was really unpleasant we did manage to find a table it was the last table um, and it was for eight but sorry tough luck it's the only one we could sit on uh, it was extremely difficult to get any drinks there were no staff it looked like half the staff have left or been sent home or something and the ones that were there clearly could not cope they couldn't keep up with anything it wasn't their fault they were pl they were pleasant enough, but um, it's not great if you want to drink with your meal. And when I say meal, we'll use that in the loosest sense of the word that we can. Um, it was carnage tonight. The people pushing, fighting, um, jumping in front of you, people everywhere, scrabbling over food. It's an absolute disgrace. Um, I ended up in the kids' area of the buffet to get and just got some pasta and bits from there um, and thought, I'll just make do with that because it was just awful. Um, it was a horrible, horrible experience. And then we thought, right, we'll go up to the bar. It's our last night. On the way up to the bar, I don't know if there's a wedding on or a stag do. Something's on. Um, all these people have arrived and they were absolutely bladdered. There were groups of men walking around, leery. It was like being in town on a Friday, Saturday night, which I have not done, obviously, for a very long time. We got the kids with us, and they were shouting and swearing, and they were disgusting. Um, didn't give a monkey's. Um, that was walking to the bar. We got to the bar, and there were groups like that at the bar who had clearly been there drinking all day. Um it was just awful and then we sat down it took a while to get served because it was so busy eventually got our drinks we just had a little bit and i was like i've it's just horrible i'm going back to the room it's too stressful and then uh, icing on the cake walking back to the room there's a guy absolutely out of his mind drunk staggering around in the reception area he's just left to get on with it a bottle of alcohol in his hands behind his back um and he could hardly walk and he was staggering at me and my four-year-old and I'm trying to keep him out the way of everything. Um, it was an absolute disgusting disgrace. I felt unsafe there tonight. It was unpleasant. I have never 
ever experienced anything like this on any holiday I've been on before. I've got to say, I would never, ever come back to this hotel. You couldn't pay me to come here. I know people have different experiences to this. Um, perhaps we've been unlucky, but we've been here two weeks. Um, and uh, I will never change my mind. If anyone's coming to this hotel and is watching this, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I would probably try and change your hotel if you can. Uh, but if you can't, maybe there'll be different people here and you'll have a nicer time. Because um, I know a lot of people say they have a lovely holiday here, but not us, I'm afraid. Maybe we were extremely unlucky with this holiday, but I'm exhausted upset. I would never ever return. So, sorry to say.